Please be careful out there. That is the message coming out of the San Diego TwitchCon, now officially open for the weekend today. And as Twitch is trying to push the term squad up and offering a few no streaming areas on the convention floor, leading to fun photoshops like this one. Firstly, today we turn to General Giga, level 999 mid boss, a Twitch partner receiving this belated birthday gift from Netomorph as yet. Yes, she is a very high-grade VTuber. And also coming to us with this warning, for those at TwitchCon, have fun, but please be safe. One of my friends already had someone follow her from the con to a restaurant to try and get pictures of her maskless face while she ate. If you're comfortable with face reveals, you'll be fine. But if you're going to the con with a mask and sunglasses to keep anonymous, know that people absolutely can and will try to find out more. Following up with yeah, she's good. They noticed him, the creepy stalker, early enough and got their food to go instead. And sharing they're curious in a bad way and seeing that masked up VTuber is like bait for them. We'll have loads more news about TwitchCon and VTubers in just a moment. As next, we turn to this very popular post on the subreddit, Am I the A-Hole? With this poster asking, Am I the A-Hole for not letting my daughter use her college fund for a VTuber app? Avatar, saying I had saved up a college fund for my oldest daughter, who is 19 years old, and was upset when she said that she would not be going to college. I am holding her fund until she decides she wants to go to college or do any sort of training. My daughter works at a clothing store, but she has told me that she wants to become a YouTuber and Twitch streamer. She has said that they will continue working until she gets monetized on YouTube or becomes a Twitch affiliate, and then she will quit. I do not agree with her decisions but I still respect her choices. However, the other day, she said that she is hiring someone to make a VTuber model for $2,000 and needs the money from her college fund. I told her that I would not let her spend the money on this. She said that the artist has already started on it and she needs it. She said that it was money for her and that she should be allowed to start her career with this. These are fair points and I realize I might be the a-hole. Am I the a-hole? Reddit would go on to confirm that this parent is not the a-hole, stating not the a-hole. You put the money away for college and she's decided not to go. Also, $2,000 on a VTuber avatar is insane, especially since she's just starting out. You can get decent ones for 100 to 500. She is getting scammed. Don't give her the money. Along with, VTuber models are expensive, but they are not what's going to make you a hugely popular streamer and her business plan is very bad. Most streamers who become affiliates and get monetized do not make that much money, maybe a few hundred or a grand a month, nothing you can reliably live off of. It's now turning us over to Dream at Dreamlike Melody, the six-eyed VTuber, sharing the post on Twitter and saying, for the umpteenth time, please don't use your money you don't have to become a VTuber. Most people cannot make their living solely off of streaming, including Twitch partners, let alone affiliates. This is such a naive mindset to go into it thinking you can quit your job for it. Going on to receive a reply from Joel, the marionette vtuber stating honestly i'm just surprised on how open and respectful this parent is they seem very caring and mature with their kids life choices kid definitely shouldn't start off with a two thousand dollar model start small and once they feel comfortable and sturdy enough then they can sink in the cash that as we have professional vtuber creator the art gun saying 100 parent doing a good here don't take money from your college fund for frivolous expenses kids even if your parents would allow it keep that for a rainy day or for housing or something if you're not doing the college thing. Also, don't commission until you have funds. Hex, the monster mommy saying if she wants to be a VTuber, she should start with a PNG or a Vroid model. $100 is a way more reasonable price tag to start with to begin streaming, not $2,000. And lastly, Julius the Tiger saying if she wants to get into the entertainment industry, then go to college with an entertainer's path. Some of the biggest streamers, especially the Pretty Gamer Girls actually have four-year degrees in business or marketing. Another one is a bachelor in music performance. This now leading us to Powder at Powdery, a demon VTuber who has expressed the high expenses of becoming a VTuber in the past, and now sharing this alert, streamer beware. It is with sadness I make this post. I've removed a regular of mine from my community after they filed two chargebacks on me and four on another VTuber. They may be in your community too. I urge you 
all to check if you have received donations by someone named Ice Maker. Going on to show numerous transactions now under review and at times exceeding over a hundred dollars. That is next. We check in with V Shoujo's Zentrea, the cyberpunk, tweeting out last night. I am so sorry about what happened on stream. My office reached really high temperatures and I ended up overheating and I won't self-diagnose, but it was to the point I couldn't see straight anymore. I'm okay now after cooling myself off for a few hours. Please don't worry. Today, returning to streaming in a whole new setup, saying I was able to get full body working on stream without VR chat or mocap. This is so cool. Yes, that being full body motion tracking in 3D with software previously used by Silvervale of Vishojo, which she herself has invested in, and with Zentrea getting incredible results using only Vive motion trackers and a Leap Motion, but getting the performance as though wearing a full VR body suit. And speaking of suits, we have this one from Homura showing us this in-progress jacket for a future Zentrea cosplay, complete with even full markings on the back. Zen would also make a statement regarding AI art, saying, while AI art is a cool new thing, please don't let it take away from the hard work, sweat, and tears artists put into their art for others. It's been years perfecting it. Passion is something that cannot be copied, and I ask no AI images be used in my art tag. And speaking of art, we're back to the art gun, providing 2D and 3D VR tuber models, self-described as a VTuber fairy godmother, and showing once again they never learn, stating it has come to my attention that cat underscore VTuber on Instagram, also at cat VTuber on Twitter, is using my work in their portfolio, and is even lying about getting permission to post it. Warning, if you see watermarked work in another person's portfolio, don't commission them. Even if they got permission, it's false advertising at best, and stating honest people generally aren't bothered by questions to verify them. They understand that people want to be sure about their choice. Scammers will be angry and try to make you not ask important questions because they want to fool you. Your comfort isn't a concern to them. And of course, that featured model being the entirely unknown VTuber, V Shoujo's Iron Mouse. As here we have this very small streamer now in the sad cat dance meme. Oh, look at her go. Oh my. Receiving replies from both Booby in the video and also strangely enough, Connor at Dog VA, burning the both of them saying, if only the both of you had this much enthusiasm for actually streaming instead of tweeting at each other. Mouse would also recently rank all of her Speak of the Devil guests into such tiers like Never Again, I Love Her, Best Boys, a very odd tier there at the bottom. Why? Why always at the bottom? This as today, Mouse is very busy celebrating 800,000 YouTube subscribers with a party on YouTube. Going on to also thank Truffle and Ludwig for helping get set up on their extension and expanding out on the experience of streaming on YouTube. Meanwhile, Iron Mouse has hit the road here with Senpai Squad and V Shoujo showing off their Itasha. These automobiles being shown off at TwitchCon with Mouse herself saying excited to meet people at TwitchCon. That being as a part of V Shoujo's VIRL experience, today hosting Iron Mouse alongside Nanners and as wonderfully covered again from Naimo, who was previously at the AX event, going on now to show us the upgraded V Shoujo booth featuring more lighting, billboards, cutouts, and yes, even a life-size screen. This while Iron Mouse would share this photo on Twitter, receiving a reply from Pomo Rainpuff of Nijisanji English saying, cutest gremlins ever. And here we have this very revealing moment. Yes, that's right. That is V Shoujo CEO Gun Run showing off the Senpai Squad Itasha to both Mouse and Nanners on an entirely new rig, much more lightweight than the one seen at AX. And now for more incredible technology at TwitchCon, we turn now to Techie Cutie, posting to hashtag TwitchCon Road Trip, driving right into California and offering these new keychain time. Here's all the cute V Shoujo keychains I made. They'll be in my gacha machine and there will be chances to win them as four inch acrylic standees, which are very limited. That's right. The Techie Cutie booth has not only her on the left as seen on the massive screen there, but also in the booth are these gacha machines complete with their very own screens. Also attending TwitchCon is Sins, the comfy Oni, letting us know I'll be having a meet and greet free thingy at the advanced GG booth at TwitchCon and being joined by Numi saying, hey dudes, I'm going to be doing a meet and greet at the advanced GG booth this 
Friday. I will be vibing and stealing, <clears throat> having a good time. And sure enough, the two attracted huge crowds on the floor. As also today with Advanced GG available now, we have Premium Energy. That's right, it's Advanced GG in a can. Said to be highly addicting. You can order a 12 pack and receive 20% off if you use code FALSE this weekend. And yes, once again, we still have our merch drop with Uwu Market. Feel free to check out the mug and the hat with the link below. Yes, there are loads of VTubers right now at TwitchCon. And now we're just going to chronologically move along. As here we have Kage at Captain Hokage, stating I'm about to witness the most VTuber PNG tuber face reveals in history at TwitchCon. Bow the Wiggly Whale VTuber saying I wish I had a glow up before TwitchCon. Cinder saying no streams this week since I'll be at TwitchCon. My first YouTube stream will have to wait until I return. I can't wait to meet everyone at the con. Geary, the cooking VTuber, asking, should I shower before flying or after landing? Lena Lazar, landing stateside and saying, cough into your elbows, not the air. Damn it, America. And also sharing, made it, heart emoji. Yuzu saying, cut my hair short and now doing my nails. Then tomorrow we fly out to TwitchCon. And yes, there has been a lot of hand reveals that we will not be showing on this episode. But wow, we have never seen so much black nail polish in our entire lives. Cloud9's Vienna asking, you'll come see me at TwitchCon, right? No. Chibi at Chibi Doki saying the airport employees thought I was a kid dude off to a great start. Giri sharing, there has to be a better way. Half my carry-on is going to be chargers. Chibi noticing California looks like GTA and loads of love from Rain. Standing Numi's bought so many little cheesy birthday gimmicks for me. I'm going to cry. She's literally so precious. I just love her so much. Here we have Domo not at all feeling the FOMO. <laughs> saying over and over again, I'm not sad. I'm not at TwitchCon. Cinder arriving and saying it's about to get real hot in San Diego. Both Nags and Noble on their way. Kaya Torin sharing my TwitchCon 2022 cosplay lineup as both Silvervale and Shy Lily at the Senpai Squad booth. Kelly Siren tweeting arrived in San Diego after flying all the way from Dublin well over 14 hours. Ready for TwitchCon and to meet everyone I've known for so many years. As Uzuri Mia at TwitchCon and saying last night was so fun meeting so many of my friends IRL now. So excited to meet more. Bao being blasted, sharing I am blasted beyond belief and still was the only one brave enough to ask for a table. A strangely scary moment for Vienna on her alternate account, tweeting who just said hi Vienna to me as I was walking by on my flight. Oh no, I'm literally in homeless attire and then confirming it was EO all while Vienna would also ask, is Denver just all empty land and farms? What is this? Well, excuse me, princess. Chibi saying, walking around at the TwitchCon Center feels like being the imposter in Among Us. Two win tails, traveling, and saying, see you in San Diego. With Vienna also sharing, can't wait to see these lovely ladies. Here's to an amazing weekend. Tricky would update us with me fly, and then later, me land, as the brand new VTuber Tectone. Fresh off his VTuber debut as the most expressive egg, saying, I just met so many of my friends tonight for the first time IRL and bro, I'm so happy. What a great night. To all y'all who I chilled with, I love y'all. Meanwhile, poor Chai Latte, saying all the partner streamers abandoned me, so I'm gonna go eat tacos. Yuzu stating, finally kissed Numi and Bao, and Chibi finally confirming, I'm officially at TwitchCon, boys. Asking, why is every VTuber cute IRL? And upon a certain trailer yesterday landing. Also sharing Bowser. That's the tweet. Also, I'm about to act up. Thank you, Mr. Nintendo for feeding us. Bowser simps. I am full. I am fed. Thank you. Sayu also saying, I'm a Jack Black simp and now I'm a Bowser simp. And Mira Pink with Bowser. Woo, woof, woof, Bowser. A woo, woo, woof, Bowser. And very lastly, we have this wonderful moment from Tiffany Witcher. This brought me to tears. Thank you for this. That being at the Tiltify booth on the TwitchCon floor, showing off the streamers who have run the most charity campaigns over the last three years, including not only Tiffany Witcher, but also other wonderful streamers like the 8-Bit Drummer. All right, next up we have Amelie, the Monarch VTuber. Now coming at us with an original song, Call Me King, now available on iTunes and Spotify, along with merchandise and even physical CDs, and sharing that she has now landed the role of Uta in the upcoming One Piece film, Red, receiving from Hall Live English's Hey Cost Bells. Congratulations. I can hear the song.
lungs already preemptive dying on the floor. And also, we're winning big time today, boys. Congrats. That by way of Maury Calliope, the Grim Reaper of Hall Live English, sharing 12 plane tickets in two months. 12. Going on to react to the Nindoroid news from yesterday. My Nindoroid is finally here. Dreams do come true. Ame looking cute as well. Celebrating 1 million views on nonfiction, the all Hollow Myth collab song saying Hollow Myth forever. Thanks so much, everyone. And also sharing more of this. This winter, the glass slipper comes off. Hashtag Cinderella. And potentially giving the wrong day here as this is landing on October 10th here in the West. But that is a Monday, not a Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Death would also react to this horrible concoction from the sandwich blending stream stating I used to believe there was no hope in this world. I am now beginning to fall back to those beliefs. That's right. We're back again to Oro Crony taking the stream and blending Subway sandwiches and then drinking them. Even receiving this reply from her character illustrator saying sandwich corpse. I finally watched the archives and laughed so hard, but take care. And also with Hollow Council, we have Hall Live English's series Fauna tweeting out the full Councilress in Wonderland. That's right. We have the six Hall Live English members between Project Hope and Hollow Council now in a Alice in Wonderland motif with Hall Live Japan's Hachima responding to Fauna's creation saying so cute and then Super Apple Man getting them into character. And speaking of characters, here we have Hall Live English's Takanashi Kiara not only celebrating 5 million views on her collab song alongside Nina My Eninus, but yes, Do You has now hit 1 million views with Kiara saying thank you and keep on listening. We have another major moment for Regis Altair and Magni Desmond of Hollow Stars English now initiating the very first Hollow Stars EN off collab and of course kicking off plenty of fan artwork along the way alongside this piece from Lassie but reacting to that would be Axel Sirios also of Hollow Stars EN now being gender bent time and time again and reacting to the off collab with I want to meet up with the boys too and adding on to the sadness with I think I caught a cold and this morning when Hall Live staff member Harasaki Nodoka took to Twitter hosting a Twitter space Axel would be caught red handed listening in as A-Chan called him out and with Axel replying A-Chan you misunderstood I was just listening to it while I was doing my assignment I wasn't curious about it or anything and now for more VTuber news we're gonna go ahead and turn it over to our co-host Heidi take it away hi hi everyone to start off we have Amishio Michella from Niji Sanji or should I say Niji Sanji ID as the talent shares with us this one year long project she's been working on that being the premiere of their cover of Alice in Music Land featuring many other talents of the former branch one of those talents being Nara Haramaum who tells us to look forward to watching the project on the 9th of October following in suit of covers we have Niji Sanji Ian's Ren Zoto who states don't look at my YouTube channel right now LMAO but going against his wishes is Genmate Kyo Kaneko showing us this thumbnail from Ren's channel saying what is this nightmare ARG the nightmare in question being the premiere of Ren's solo cover of Aluna's debut song let's get it started with user YOY pointing out this frame in which the alien prince finally got the booba he wants and bringing this frame to life with their fan art of Ren and Scarla switching outfits continuing on with Niji EN we also have Reimu Endo announcing her cover of Yoasobi's love letter featuring the other members of Etheria which will be premiering on the 9th of October in celebration of Etheria's one year anniversary. Moving on, we have Production Kawaii's Mirio Kotofuji, along with the rest of Production Kawaii's Gen 3, presenting their cover of The Baddest by KDA, making it their first ever group cover collab, with Mirio crediting and thanking those who provided the MV, illustration, and instrumental mixing, but also crediting herself for creating this amazing promotional image for the cover, letting us know that she's really good at art, and also mentioning how the faces and expressions of her and her gen mates line up perfectly with the bodies of the KDA members. Graphic design at its finest, I say. Next up, we have Prism Project's Shiki Miyoshino, giving us an original song in collaboration with Lone Alpha, titled Seasons, premiering on both Shiki's and Lone Alpha's YouTube channel. Shiki thanking us for being there for not just one, but both of the MV premieres, and telling us to check out all those involved with the production of Seasons. And lastly, we have Shiga Fuji Lisa from Cinderia, announcing the premiere of her Midwest emo cover of Suisei's Stellar Stellar and showing off the exported acapella stems here as we wait for the release of the cover today. And that's all from me. Back to you, false. Thank you, Heidi. And today for all of you, we have even more 
crazy, wonderful Heidi fan artwork. This piece coming by way of DD, the V artist wizard. That while the entire TBS crew has been turned into cats with ash and dust, even offering up individual PNGs of all of us. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch, and we'll have more. Things VTubers say for you soon.